taking on the New York Yankees. And now, all right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today's Bad starter, ball. Nestor Cortez Jr. What do we have on him? Well, oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the second out of the inning. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you got. Jose Abreu up to hit. And here it comes. In the air out to center. Settles under it. Drops into the glove. Rudder tags it second. Throw into third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Mickey Mantle. And first offering is fouled off. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Gathers and throws to first. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. And he deals. Gets under and pops it up. He's there. He's got it. One down. Singy four homers. Tied at six. Mickey Mantle stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Goes to third. In there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. That's towards center. McCormick has it sized up. Brings it in. That is the inning. Yanks. Back in New York. We go to the eighth. And now Yaner Diaz. So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's Kyle Tucker. And the right hander deals. And that's ripped for a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. These guys are relentless. Just what up next? Mickey Mantle. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Late on that fastball. On one. They're down to their final strike. A one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. You know, even when this team was trailing by six, it seemed like they had confidence that they could get back in this ball game. I don't. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Houston Astros going up against the New York Yankees. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Mickey Mantle, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. 
Yeah, Boogie, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So two down, and next for New York, Mickey Mantle, the American League leader in RBIs this year. And that one lifted in the air center field. McCormick has it sized up. And the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. Back now in the Bronx. And now the big time power threat, Mickey Mantle. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. One straight. That misses. And one and one. And a pitch. That one fouled off. And a one two. Fights it off. He'll see another. The line and the pitch. Hard hit left side. Over to Abreu. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, he's doing a nice job. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Jeremy. Righty delivers. Liner and oh, that got him. And they get the out after the ricochet. That one got him pretty good, but now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Mickey Mantle. And fouled off. The Yanks trailing by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Swung on, belted. That's back. He circles the bases. His 27th home run of the season. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-1. Chris, he just tied Reggie Jackson on the all-time home run list. That's number 563. One of the biggest home run hitters of all time, Reggie Jackson. Man, that is elite territory. Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt. But unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better swing. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Two down, nobody on. That's a base hit. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be no, impressive. No, no, no. Just Wait, a simple, do. soft liner oh. in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind it. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in. And the throw's offline, safe at third. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to... Man, at first, Mickey Mantle will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. That one at the knees for a strike. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the game. It's 6-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. 
I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line for tonight. First of the And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Houston Astros taking on the New York Yankees. Book Shami alongside Chris Singleton. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so... We should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Here's some real power at the plate. Mickey Mantle. Not Whoa. close with that one. And that's ball one. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. <laughs> Two outs. Into center. McCormick has it sized up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. We head to the second. So digging in, Yainer Diaz. Two outs. Back up the middle in a base hit. Abreu around second. To third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. I could watch base hits like that one. Man at first. Mickey Mantle getting ready to hit. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it. One away. Now, the designated hitter, John Bases loaded, nobody out. Now, here's the Yankees' cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. And oh. ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit, one run is in. Comes in to score. It's 5 3. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, no outs. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. 0 oh 2 now. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. As a former player, watching five, four, three. Go. So one out, nobody on. And stepping in for the Yankees, Mickey Mantle. And that one hammered. McCormick ranging back on it. Good a soaring shot to center. He's up to three home runs in the series. And they add a run. It's 7-3. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. This team really needed to win this game. 
today and pushed him over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates. Yeah. Mm -hmm.